Well, good morning, folks. It is uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm going to paint this bumper before I go up and feed cows. You might ask why I need to paint the bumper. Got it hanging from the forklift. This is the, the bumper to the chopper. Um, I took that off yesterday, and I've got some uh, black paint shaking in the paint shaker there. So you might be asking why I'm painting the bumper. Well, that's that's what this video is about so enjoy the rest of the video folks all right we just got back um, to the shop from putting that wheel on the spreader um, I've got the chopper in here we're gonna go through this chopper rather quickly I just got to check the um, I gotta I gotta start at the front end actually I'm gonna start at the back end but we can start talking about uh, the front end here I've just got to go through the hay head quick and um, I've got to get the, uh, the little oiler, the chain oiler filled up with oil. I've got to open this compartment up here. I've got to check the chains out for the auger drive and the um, pickup teeth there. Uh, I might have a tooth or two to replace on that. I've got a bolt down on this guard that I've got to get in there. Um, this was at the dealer and they already um, put a sharpening stone on it. They, they sharpen the knives, set the shear bar, and all that. So all that should be good. So I'm just going to kind of work through it quick. Make sure there's enough grease in the uh, greaser and all like that. It needs cleaned up. Um, it's got a lot of dust on it from being in the hay barn. Windows need to be washed. Cab needs to be cleaned out and all like that. What we're going to work on here now is the bumper that I put on here. Um, last year this is a piece of uh, four inch angle iron here that is used for the main support and then it's got a, a big plate in here um, that's bolted up underneath the chopper we had a little collision with it last year uh, I ended up backing into uh, Jared he had the 8320 um, it, it just happened um, there's no other way around it other than it just happened. So I've got a um, 3 8 tow chain on here. This is grade 70 transport chain. It's all stretched out. I mean, you can kind of see the uh, links there are rather stretched. Uh, we've got a new chain to put on it. I've got a, a length of um, half inch grade 100 uh, tow chain that we're gonna put on there. And I ended up getting a whole pile of um, 3 8 uh, chain. This is transport chain too, and that is grade 100 as well. We're not gonna um, run the grade 70 anymore. That grade 100 is uh, a little better. So what we're gonna have to do here, we'll get the chain off in there. I've gotta cut uh, this angled piece off. I've gotta cut down through this weld here and straighten that piece of angle iron up and then I have to um, clean the end of this all up weld this cap back on there and uh, weld this end back on so um, I could just leave it alone and uh, fill it in with weld and whatever but we want to spruce that up a little bit um, the main part of the bumper is obviously the center portion but um, this this side here took all the force from running into the front of that 8320 and it, it pulled the angle iron away from the top here and then it split the the bottom there uh, it's welded real tough back here but um, this weld that was on the face we we ground that down to get a nice smooth finish there and there wasn't really a lot of weld on there to, to hold that but the weld is holding it from the back so we'll get that cleaned up had I not had that on there chances are we would have bent this um, this piece here it would have been just a, a, a mess um, if I didn't have that on there um, I had filled a, a dump wagon pulled the the pipe back around um, 
back over the top of the chopper and I was backing up alongside the woods and I was looking over my right hand shoulder making sure that I had the pipe the chopper pipe there um, back over the center of the chopper so I wasn't going in through the woods at all and he seen me coming he backed up he started backing up as far as he could and he couldn't go any farther and um, I didn't have my radio on and bang so um, live and learn I guess so we're gonna get underway here and start fixing this everything is cut off I cut that um, side off the hitch there and I obviously took the chain off I've got this cleaned up enough here now and then what I'm gonna do is I gotta whack this with a sludge hammer I don't know if I could do it cold or not I'm hoping I can do it cold because um, I don't want to get the torch in here because of the um, plastic here so I ended up um, cleaning uh, this all up here I've got that cleaned up. I ended up uh, heating the, the end of it up. I've got a weld around the top side. And uh, we'll get that bent back. Weld this back together. Weld our end on there. And then we'll have to take the bumper off. And uh, we're going to repaint it. Uh, over next door, these guys are working on alley scrapers. These here. Um, uh, scrapers that we use in the barn and um, as we need them we have a whole bunch of them all rebuilt and ready to go into the barn uh, these are the wore out ones and what they're doing is just uh, flipping the um, edges over and putting new uh, skid plates on the bottom of the trucks every once in a while they have to put a new um, head on it, which this is where the arm pins into and that goes back here um, This one's in decent shape uh, They got one over there that's boogered up and uh, they're just flipping the uh, you know, rubbers over like I said and uh, And we end up putting new cans on the end and uh, they're just using the trailer for a workbench here and Jason is working on a uh, lock mechanism on this 318G skid steer. He's working on the mechanism that locks and unlocks the uh, bucket to the attachment plate. So I'm going to see if I can bend this back with a sludge hammer, make a couple of cold blows with it, see if I can't get that angle iron uh, back in place. If I can't get it back, I'm going to have to take it off and heat it up and uh, bend it that way. So let's hit her a couple times and see if we can't uh, get that piece of angle iron back in place. Alright, that's about as close as we're gonna get that. For the most part, that's gonna all fill in with weld uh, very nicely. So we're gonna go ahead Leave that alone and get our pieces welded on and finish this job. Okay, let's see how we do. I'm 
just uh, just got the weld done uh, on this outside left hand piece here on the bumper I made a pass down each side of this angle iron it's not too straight because there's a little bit there's a little bit of a gap here so we're just gonna run over that quick with a flap wheel on a grinder smooth all that down so that it ends up looking like um, this side here so um, the welding's all done I've got my cap uh, welded back on there that got monkeyed up um, I stacked a little bit of weld on this top corner here that was mashed in a little bit so um, we got to uh, touch that up with a flap wheel uh, get that all nice and smooth um, got her welded down through um, the back side there too you can't quite see that so uh, we're going to get this finished up with a flap wheel on a grinder we're going to take the bumper off I'm going to get the uh, DOC tape all off in there and then we're going to paint it again. So, um, we'll get after it. Alright, uh, we're getting ready to take the bump, actual bumper off. Um, I peeled all the DOT tape off. Um, I've got the welding done. I've got it all um, smoothed down uh, with a flap wheel. And then when we run, after we paint it, when we run our DOT tape on, it's going to um, stick nicely. It won't have to jump up over the top of a um, weld. So I've got some gooey glue left over from uh, the old DOT tape. Um, I've got a couple of bolts left to take out on this um, left-hand side here. Now up underneath the actual drawbar, that was on the chopper came out to here and there's an old video I have from when I built this pitch and um, that is uh, bolted up underneath and I took and cut this tube out and uh, put a large um, piece of flat bar in there to where I welded this D-ring on so that this D-ring um, is actually welded fast to a large plate in here so that it's not just welded on the face of this uh three what is this uh three by four rectangle and a three by ten uh rectangle um and then uh, the main drawbar support is bolted up underneath the chopper so i've got those bolts taken out i've got those bolts off on that side we're gonna lift the forklift up underneath this bumper take out the other two and pull this bumper off um, <clears throat> gonna burn all this glue off like I said clean that up a little better and uh, get a coat of primer on it tonight and put paint on it tomorrow and then by Wednesday say we can bolt this right back um, up onto the chopper so we'll get the forklift up underneath there and get them other two uh, bolts out alright bumpers removed setting on the forklift we're gonna clean it up get a coat of primer on it and uh, yeah I actually had a spot here that was um, nicked a little bit we touched that up with the grinder I got to put a little bit of green paint on there to kind of hide that and then um, this is where the center of that hitch ends up bolting to the frame right here and I've got a bunch of like corn and, and crap um, in there so uh, it bolts with four uh, 5 8 bolts up in the center and that's where all the meat comes from uh, from the, uh, the it's held on here with them cap screws 24 millimeter 25 millimeter cap screws on the outside there three on each side and then the four 5 8 bolts in the center so we're gonna clean that up and get some primer on it All right, uh, Jay and Joe and James are just getting ready to take off here now. They just got the skid steer done and they cleaned up from their alley scraper stuff. And uh, I'm kicking them out of here. Well, it's time to go anyways for them. But 
I've got this bumper all cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna put some primer on it. This is the side that was uh, cracked. That's where we hit it, uh, right here. Um, it's got a little bit of a kiss mark um, still on there. I'm gonna leave that there. It um, gives it a little character. So I'm gonna prime this quick and call it a night. Um, I've got my cheap Harbor Freight paint gun loaded and uh, we're gonna go ahead and spray this. So we'll get primer on that, we'll call it a night after that. And then um, I'm gonna finish up this video uh, tomorrow with the final uh, steps of painting this bumper, putting it back on the chopper. Uh, I'm not really worried about overspray too awful much tonight because I haven't got much to spray on this. And there's enough dirt um, on the chopper that it should not affect it. Um, so we're gonna throw some primer on this and uh, James, he just doesn't want to leave. So, huh? Forgot, my paycheck. Forgot your paycheck? You don't need a paycheck. Yeah, All right, we're gonna throw some primer on this. Okay, it is uh, Tuesday morning now. Um, we painted or uh, we primed the uh, bumper on Monday night, and uh, notice my nice orange safety gloves here. Uh, I've got gray primer um, on the bumper, and I've got some black paint um, shaking in the paint shaker now. This is just uh, just a commercial coatings uh, gloss black. So we're just getting ready to shoot that. I'm gonna put a coat on um, quickly uh, before I go up and feed, and um, I'm running early enough to uh, be able to um, come down and put a couple more coats on while I'm feeding cows. Um, I could do it now and, and not get interrupted at all and, uh, not, and be in anybody's way here. So we're going to shoot this, shoot a coat of black on here quick and we'll come down a couple different times uh, during feeding and uh, get a couple three coats of, of paint on this and then we can let that dry and get that on there here later on this morning, early this afternoon. Well, that's gonna put the wraps on the paint and I moved the uh, forklift and uh, the bumper over here out of the way. Uh, I just got done putting the second coat of black on the bumper. I'm gonna go back to feeding cows now. Um, I've got this bay open. Um, we're going to pull a truck in here uh, later on this morning and uh, we've got brakes to do on one and an oil change to do on another one and uh, we'll get back to feeding cows. So that's going to do it for the paint anyways. I ended up putting uh, a second coat of paint on that. I put a heavy one on there. Um, get the paint got cleaned up and uh, we'll get back up to uh, feed. All right, we've got the bumper is all back on the chopper, it's all bolted back up into place. Ended up putting the um, reflective DOT tape um, on the back of it, of course. Um, this left side right here was the spot that had to split in it right there where that um, bumper kind of flares over to follow the contour of the the curvature of the chopper so the tractor ended up I ended up backing into the tractor and I hit that corner real hard right there and I ended up uh, splitting that end off in there I did not uh, I welded that cap back on this tube here but I kind of left um, this corners got a little bit of a rounded part to it so we're just gonna leave that alone it kind of adds a little bit of a little bit of character to it so I've got to get the chain on there yet, uh, but outside of that, that's just going to about do it for the bumper until we get the um, chain all in place. So, for this is some half inch grade uh, 100 chain. Um, it's just got a black finish to it. So we're going to pour some red paint in this pail to uh, to paint this chain um, red.
Okay, that's gonna about put the wraps on that. Uh, this video, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish this video out until I end up putting that chain back on the um, chopper, which is gonna be a couple days here. Um, it's Wednesday night now. I just got done um, working on an alley scraper. It screwed up, so I'm all covered with manure, and it's about. Oh God, what is it? Just after 9.30 here Wednesday night. So, um, I poured about, it was not quite a gallon of paint um, into that five gallon pail and uh, pushed that chain all down in the pail and we pulled it up out. And it, it's just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it hanging here for a day or two, let it, let it dry. We'll see how that um, goes. And there's, well, there's a little bit of paint down in the, in the pail that's drained off that chain in the amount of time that I've been working on that uh, alley scraper. So, uh, this gallon wasn't quite full. That was probably, oh, we probably used maybe a quart um, out of it to, to paint that chain. So, just by dipping it into the paint that I dumped, um, dump the paint back into the the container here so all right folks that's going to do it for this project um i just put the log chain on there it's uh like i said earlier it's half inch grade 100 um they call it transport chain um the other stuff we were using was 3 8 grade 70 so this has got a little more uh, strength to it than a 3 8 chain and um, I ended up picking up these hooks there the other day. Um, they've got a locking um, clasp, if you will, on them. Uh, you just, you know, it can't, the chain can't unhook. And you just push this, I don't know if I could do it with one hand. You just push this, um, oh, I gotta be able to do it here. You just push that through like that and then turn it. And then that'll allow you to uh, get the chain unhooked, and it won't come unhooked on you. So I like I like these style locking um, hooks. Uh, you know, every time you tow on a chain, usually the damn chain will come unhooked on you. And then on this end here, I ended up tack welding it so nobody could steal it on me. Um, meaning somebody says, "Oh, I need a log chain. I'll just take the one off the back of the chopper." And then we get somewhere and uh, we don't have it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. Uh, thanks for watching and we will catch you at the next one. Chopper's all ready to go. It's got a little bit of dust on it from sitting in the, sitting in the shop here. But um, uh, the day before I end up using it, I'll end up washing the windows on it. And uh, we'll just head out and hammer on the hay. So, uh, thanks again for watching, folks.